Hi there, my name is Anil, founder and CEO at Cloud Enabled. I am pretty excited to walk you through OpenStack Newton installation using Packstack on a Cent OS 7 operating system. Before we begin with the installation, let's quickly have a review on OpenStack releases. The very first release of OpenStack was named as Austin, started in November 2010, followed by Bexer, Cactus, and Debelo. The very first four release were having a release cycle of three months. Following ASX, which is March 2012, this is where I started my OpenStack learning curve, and ASX the first version which I installed. Following ASX, I have been seeing a six monthly release, which is the next release was Folsom, and followed by Grizzly and Havana in 2013. We had two releases in 2014, which is ISOS and Geno, followed by two more releases in 2015, which is Kilo and Liberty. We had Metaka release in April 2016. And as of this session, which I am recording, Newton is the current release, which is going to be announced during the Barcelona summit. Already we have the packages available to download and install at this moment. And Cloud Enabled is one of the proud sponsors of the OpenStack Summit. If you are there at the summit this year, see you at the C8 booth number. So let's get started with the installation now. So here is my SSH connection to the Cent OS 7, which is the release which I'm using to install the Newton OpenStack. So to ensure you log in as a root before you proceed with the installation. Very first thing is to update your operating system. So the update is complete. Let's clear the screen. The next step is to enable the OpenStack repository for Newton. So the command is m install y for s so that it doesn't ask for confirmation again. CentOS hyphen release hyphen OpenStack hyphen Newton. Hit enter and this should take a while. And that's complete. So next step is to update your current package with m update. So that completes as well. Let's clear the screen. So we need to install the packstack installer. So the command is m space install hyphen y openstack hyphen Backstack. So that's done as well. Let's clear the screen. Now that we installed the Backstack installer, the final command is to install OpenStack single node. And the command is Backstack space hyphen hyphen all in one. So this will deploy a single node OpenStack environment for us. Go ahead and hit enter. So the installation has started successfully. So go ahead and grab a coffee for yourself and this will take roughly around 15 to 30 minutes based on your internet speed. So I'm going to pause this video and come back to this video once the installation is successful. So the installation is successfully completed for us. Couple of things I want you to make a note of. The very first thing is the OpenStack dashboard. You can access it on the URL which is HTTP followed by the IP address of your single node Packstack installation. You can notice my IP address on which I run the Packstack was 192.168.1.4. Hence, my Horizon dashboard will be available on 
192.168.1.4 slash dashboard. Second thing, you have to note the keystone rc underscore admin file. This is where you'll get your credentials to log into your dashboard. So the default name for the login is admin and password is one which we have to grab from this file which will be automatically generated. So let's go to cd slash root and let's clear the screen. If I do an ls here, you can notice we have a file by name keystone rc admin. So let's do a cat to this file and you can notice your password is available here. However, the username is admin as I told you and your auth URL would be 192.168.1.4 colon 5000 version 2.0. So let's grab this password for now so let us log into the dashboard now is 192.168.1.4 slash dashboard so the username is admin and I already have grabbed my password from my keystone rc file go ahead and click on connect so that's our Newton version of OpenStack and you can notice they have already created a demo tenant for us admin tenant which we used to log in and the service tenant which will have all the service users in this so let's create a new project call this cloud enabled and assign some quota quickly. Let's give them 20 instances. Allow cloud enable project to create up to 20 volumes. Let's create a consumer for this project. Let's create a user. So that's Anil. Email ID. That's anil.pidri at thecloudenable.com and let's keep the password simple. Select the project that's cloud enabled and we want to assign a member role so that we can validate whether we can launch an instance as a consumer of the cloud. So user has created successfully. Let's log out and log in as user, which is Anil. Excellent. So we are able to log into the portal, and you can notice we have zero of twenty instances which have been consumed. So let's create the network first before we could launch VM. Let's call it as pvt1 subnet1 the network address 10.0.1.0 slash 24 and gateway IP of 10.0.1.1 and let's go ahead and create now that we have the private network created Let's go ahead and launch an instance. Zero one. Select from image. The volume size would be one gig. And let's select the Suras. Choose M1 tiny here. Let's leave all the other things blank. Let's go ahead and create a instance.
you can notice the virtual machine is building at this moment and the state of the VM is active I hope this would be a quick start for you guys to start your OpenStack learning and happy learning with OpenStack for any of your OpenStack classroom trainings or online trainings you can visit our site which is training.thecloudenabled.com so we are announcing our online platform very soon that's around the Barcelona summit which is October 25 2016 and you should get the certified OpenStack administrator training online available so at this moment, you can go under OpenStack trainings and look for more info on our other courses around OpenStack. Thank you so much for watching this video.